Uh, he's back. The man behind the mask. Ah. And he's out of control. So uh, well, Alice Cooper wrote the song for this one. <laughs> what a what a good movie. Yeah, it was pretty decent. I mean, not on its own merits. No, well, it's very funny. And I think most of that was intentional. <laughs> yeah, you could tell that this was like the... I think that this is the turning point in the series. Yeah, like, I think all the enjoyment we got from, like, four... Yeah. ...was like, oh, it's so bad. But then this one, it's like, no, we get it. it the, no, this is a stupid movie. Yeah. Enjoy it. The, it opens with a James Bond parody. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was great. And then they had, like, the major pain version of the... <laughs> Of the military in this... Like, they never explain what they're doing there, why they're playing paintball, or it anything. They just, just, it, it's like a five-minute subplot, and then they get killed. <laughs> and the, the, it, was, it was really funny, because they're, like, playing paintball, and after, like, you get shot, then you're dead in the game. And they had these headbands that just said, dead. dead. It's like... <laughs> you're literally marking characters for death at this point. Because I kept making the joke, like, any time a character was obviously about to die, I'd just be like, dead... But then I, like, see them and I'm, like, dead. And then they put on the headbands and see dead. And it's like, oh! <laughs> the movie knew what it was doing. And it knew what kind of movie it wanted to be. No, yes. I really... This like, was a lot of fun. I genuinely recommend this one. Yeah. Like, don't skip skip two and three and four and five. Definitely skip five. Like, this movie skips five. Like, yeah, it does. And this, speaking of which, this is the second movie in the entire franchise that takes place on Friday the 13th. It's the second one that mentions taking place on Friday the 13th. Presumably the others do because they're called Friday the 13th. No, because Even two though, through four all take place one after another. Yeah, so probably like three and four take place on Saturday and Sunday. And maybe Monday. Yeah. Five well, doesn't say anything about it. Maybe four takes place on the 13th, so it was like Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I don't think... I think five says it takes place on the 13th, but it doesn't really have Jason in there, so... I don't know. Like, they they don't reference five at all. Because, like, at the end of five... He kills a dude. Tom, just straight up murders a guy. Tommy, he doesn't kill them. It's just like, he has the knife, he's about to kill them, like, zoom in on the face, end of the movie. Like, heavily implied that he murdered someone. This, this one, movie? Forget that. You know, I'm pretty sure that these are two different characters. <laughs> because in the last movie... Uh, what's his face? What what was his face? Tommy. Tommy. Uh, Tommy doesn't talk. He doesn't kill anybody. Well, he does kill somebody. And he's generally a, just a creep, for the most part. This movie, they got a new actor to play him. I don't know what his name was. He talks. He's got general charisma. He doesn't seem like he's nutty at all. Yeah. Except for the beginning of the movie where he decides to dig up Jason. Which, <laughs> by the way, what? What was that? So, like, Jason's body's, like, decaying. Yeah. And then he, like, sticks a pole in Jason. Uh-huh. He's like, ah. Oh. And then lightning strikes And then lightning the hits the pole. And suddenly Jason is, like, uh. full body, like, all fleshy and muscular and can do stuff. It's like, dude, like, five minutes ago you were a pile of bones with maggots crawling out of right, you. Right, right. And then it's like... Because everyone knows lightning restores your body. Well, I mean, he, he reads a book on the occult later in the movie, and it's like, huh, I guess it... I, he brought him to life by accident? <laughs> yeah. What? It just... This movie just wants to be silly, <laughs> and it's fun, and... Yeah. It is fun. I recommend it. Actually. And they make sure that this is the last one. <laughs> it's, it's, the, it's the last one. I mean, it's really sad that they had to cut the series so short. I mean, we could have probably gotten another four movies out of it. And a crossover. <laughs> and I, a remake. Uh, but they're, 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 apparently this is where the, the end of the line is. They're not making any more. This is... Do you know how many times Jason has been dead for reals? 
twice. Well, he's like... He dies like once every movie for like five seconds, and then they go up on his body and it's like, ooh, what's happening? What's ha and then he comes up and he kills him. That happens every single movie. The end of part three, he was like not moving dead. Uh-huh. Like they took him to the hospital, he was so dead. Well, yeah, but then he was, he was hung. Again. He was hung. Well, then he got an axe to the face. Which, like... That's pretty dead right there. Okay, they keep the axe crack in his mask for all of the movies, but in four, he got a machete to the face. Yeah, but they don't keep that. <laughs> Where's the crack for that? Where's the machete? Where He keeps finding machetes in all he these keeps movies. Finding machetes. Every time he respawns, he doesn't have a machete, and then he just finds one. Uh, He's Alice... a lucky guy. Let's talk about Alice Cooper, because that's all I have to... Do you have anything else to say? Um, I do like that they finally broke through the tradition at the beginning of the movie where they don't show the last five minutes of the previous movie. Part five didn't. Well, they, they cut together the previous no. films. That was part four. Part five, it was just Corey Feldman in his backyard having a dream about Jason coming back to life. Okay, fair enough. But that has been a trope that really bothered me since yeah. the movie... Like, since we booted up part two... We're about to watch Halloween part four. I get the sense there might be some flashbacks. Maybe. But they, they did that for like three or four movies, and it really bothered me. And it looks like they finally dropped it. This is a good movie. Go watch it. Um, right, Alice Cooper. Alice Cooper. Because Alice Cooper wrote a song for this one. Oh, yeah, yeah. He plays... Freddy's father in Nightmare on Elm Street, uh -huh. and he was in a John Carpenter movie, and also did a duet with Rob Zombie, who directed the Halloween remake. So he's in all of these series, and this October I'm going to review a movie with Alice Cooper in it <laughs> for Matt's Fun Time Bad Movie Show. It'll probably be out. If it's not, I'll put a link to it here in the cards. I don't know where the cards icon is. It's in this area. Uh, it would be right here. Because they don't have annotations anymore, remember? Yeah, but it's... I think it's in this corner. It might be in that corner. Yeah, this is where the eye is, correct? See, see the eye that went out right there? Yeah. Paul knows what he's talking about. Well, this is mirrored. So I think it's here. We don't know. Bye. Alright.